Yo, what's going on guys? Now, you're probably wondering why this, this video is so late as I felt that Cagliostro is so game defining that I had to take a little bit of time and play with her before I give any opinions on what her skills are and how she works. Before that though, I would like to mention that good luck to everyone on the Guild Wars. Guild Wars is currently active. If you're not playing, you should be playing, but wish everyone the best of luck and you are able to up obtain whatever rank you're going for. But to add to mention, today we'll be looking at Kali Yoshro. This character is probably the biggest F you to every water man I ever seen right before Guild Wars. This character is actually, I call her Grid Destroyer Kali Yoshro. She's no longer Summer, it's a Grid Destroyer because he kills your grid. She is now asking for you to run a critical grid, which is ridiculous, but let's talk about her. Now, she's a water. I can't believe she's another water unit, a water summer unit. I can't believe they did this again. Two in one year. Water, human, staff, healer. You're probably like, oh, wow, healer. She must heal a lot. No, she don't heal. <laughs> she don't heal. <laughs> I, for, I didn't even know she healed. <laughs> but <sighs> this character is ridiculous. So I got I to gotta stress this point. It's ridiculous. Now, I want everyone to know this right now. Don't spark her, okay? You're probably like, oh my God, you're gonna give this character so much praise. This is only like her swimsuit tier two right now. That means that we have two more big bomb cells gonna drop later in the future. And if you don't have a spark for them, they could be better than this. And this is already ridiculous. So I'm throwing it out there. Now, her Ogi is Aqua Magna. It gives her one Deluge Crest on Ogi and a Keen effect to all allies. They're like Keen. What's a Keen? A Keen is a supplemental buff. Think of your Akasha weapon. Now, this is a buff on her Ogi that goes to all allies. Now, keep in mind that it does cap at 50k. That means additional 50k based on the boss's health. Capping at making you get more damage. Pretty much. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good effect. If that was all though, this character would be pretty decent, but no, that's not all. I'm going to ignore her skill one. You're probably wondering why, because it defines the character. And I feel like I need to talk about her skill two and three first, because they are relevant. So we're looking at Phantasm, what was that? Phantasma Mirage? Phantasma Mirage, I guess, whatever. But I don't care, it's a relevant skill, doesn't matter. It restores an ally's health, who cares? It, it, it's like the crappiest heal. Think of the DLR feels skill two, the earth one. It's like that. It's pretty much the exact copy of that. It's a very mediocre skill. You're pretty much not going to be using it outside of the multi-attack boost. So it does heal at 2,500. It's a really bad heal. I, you're not using this for the heal. You're using it for the multi-attack. It's okay. Um, the multi-attack boost from it is 80% double attack and 30% TA. So it's not bad for multi-attack, but that's all you're really using it for. It does give 50% attack up normal and 50% defense as well. But pretty, it's only one unit. So it's really not that good. It's like Zoe does all this anyway. So it's like, it's mediocre. I'm sorry. You're probably like, oh my God, you should praise her skill. No, it's her skill to the relevant. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And it even more a relevant skill is skill three, the disruption. So it disrupted as in you don't use the skill. It, it's a dispel. It's a pretty bad nuke actually. It's about 1 million with everything maxed out. Um, it's like 300K or something per hit. It's really not that great of a nuke, honestly. It's two hits, so. But it does, it does eat up one Deluge Crest. I recommend if you ever get above three, Excuse me. If you ever get above three, never use this skill. It's not even it's not even worth your time. It's legit that bad of a skill. I understand you may want to dispel once in a while, but keep in mind if you crest, your crest matter immensely on this character. This character skill one is the most broken thing I ever seen in this game in a very long time. It's ridiculous. So just keep that in mind that her skill three does eat up a crest. So you really don't want to use it. <laughs> I just ignore it. It's a dead button. She's a walking skill one and an Ogi. That's all this character is. But that skill one, Ars Nova is ridiculous. 
first off, this character gives you a nice, normally, depending on what level it is, Narge Nova normally gives you 70% crit and 30% critical damage. Keep in mind, it also gives you Keen as well, the same effect from her Ogi. I mentioned that. However, if, if you have five Deluge Crest on this unit, you gain access to one. 50% bonus damage. That means that your Shiva is about to get a lot bigger. So <laughs> you have 50% bonus damage. You get 15% damage cap up. Not only is he giving 50% bonus damage, you get 15% damage cap up. And then if that ain't enough, they give this character a 100% critical hit now. So before it was 70-30, now it jumps to 130, so you're guaranteed criticals. And you're probably wondering, why does critical matter so much? Why do you emphasize that? Her passive. Bonus damage effect to water allies critical hits on one full attack. That's another 10%. So you got a 10% bonus damage. You got a 50% bonus damage. And on top of that, you get 15% damage cap up. This is one character, by the way. This the only character that I thought I could even c come close to my mind that is on this level is Lesia. And you know what she had to do to do that? She had to do attack orders. And if anyone knows, attack orders is a pain in the butt. But no. This character does all of this for free. All you need is the Luge Crest. Now, this is their way of quote-unquote balancing it. It does eat up your five crest. So, it's not the easiest thing to do. But when you factor in the Opus at the main hand, Lily as a character, you do gain a lot more points, or a lot more crest very quickly. So just keep that in mind. And it's on a really insane three turn. It's a three turn. Three turns. Why is it three? Whoa, why is it three turns? I thought it'd be two. Unless you buff is two. This is better than her buff. It's three turns long. Why is it three turns? And it's on a six turn cooldown. Six turns. Why? Who? Who's making this? Who? Why, what? And this may not even be the best summer unit. What is this? Why? Anyways, I'm <laughs> this character is ridiculous. But let's talk about her last skill, Beach Ready. It does give a boost to all allies critical hit rate based on their Deluge Crest. Another what the hell. <laughs> so this character is given more critical on her passive. And this note that at 5, you gain an extra 25% critical chance. So once you get 5 stacks, you're pretty much good to go. It, th this is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe they created a monster of a character like this right before Guild Wars. I can't. I honestly cannot. I cannot believe it. Not to mention that her EMPs are actually not that bad either. Her EMPs are pretty decent. What you want to do is you want to, depending on your pool, you want to stack her with crit. You need this character to crit. First of all, her base damage is not that high because she don't have any inherent buffs. But her skill 2 is the buff. Always keep that in mind that if you feel her damage is too low, just use her skill too on herself to boost her damage. But what you want to do is you definitely want to increase her critical hit rate if your grid is not 100% crit. If your grid is 100% crit, it's not that important, but you still want to increase her critical hit rate. So just keep that in mind. Getting a, a, a ovary mastery of critical hit isn't bad either because this character is all about crits. I know that I may have gushed a lot about this character, but her skill one's ridiculous. I don't care what anyone says this. Her skill one is straight bonkers. It's like, it's, it's like, a, if there was a level of what the, is this skill? It's level 11, cause this skill on a fire unit? Holy, bro, if they put this skill on a fire unit, bro, I people are, people are rage quitting. People, I swear people will rage quit this game. If they would ever put something this stupid on a fire character, people, people will lose their goddamn minds. I don't care what anyone says. The only thing holding this skill back is that it's not on a fire unit. And it has Deluge Crest. That's one of the biggest drawbacks is that you have to Ogi. You're probably thinking Ogi is not that bad. 
Ogying is pretty bad when you think of the fact that it had a longer cooldown or well cooldown is the wrong word it has a longer lockout time than an auto if you didn't know this game has lockout time when you see processing and a processing turn that is your lockout depending on what actions you did you can have a longer processing turn than a normal turn so for example if you did a full turn of all ta it's going to be longer than if everyone single attack if you ogi it's going to be longer than everyone ta -ing. so that's what you get the processing turn that's your lockout the fact that she is locked out because she needs to ogi to gain crest is a kind of balancing mechanic here because this skill if it wasn't for that and all she had was this this and you throw this on fire i people would it would be the biggest day of money making for grand blue in a while because a lot of people would have sparked that unit instantly so i just i just really don't know what they're going to do with the other units in the future because this character is ridiculous it's ridiculous ridiculous i cannot believe i don't want this on fire please don't make a fire like this is the this is the most bonkers skill i've seen they put in a character in a while let's deal with one example of it but because her attack orders is not that easy to obtain it was kind of balanced even though you've seen all the the meme videos right you i'm pretty sure you guys have seen many many meme videos of lesia and shiva this is lesia with a lot more accessibility so it's, re it's really insane I, uh, <laughs> i'm at a loss of words uh i'm gonna do a little little test run of this character just with different units just so you guys can take a look at it normally i do a video with it at the end so let's get to a video of this unit because this unit is ridiculous man oh my god so we're gonna be taking on athena i wanted to have a little fun why not change up my team a little bit now i'm running arlumea and europa I didn't want to run Lily because I wanted to show people what, what's it like to not run Lily. Um, so to give an example. And uh, another thing is that somebody did ask me about two balls. So I thought I, I changed my pool for that. That's why if, if you see I have two balls to three. So that's how it goes. But yeah, this character is ridiculous. I don't recommend sparking her though. I would tell people to always wait until the very end of summertime. Because you don't we don't know if it's gonna be a stronger unit that's gonna come out in the future. So always wait. I know it sounds weird, but it's important. Oh, uh, we just got screwed over by the way. I think that uh we're not gonna have Veil. I could be wrong though. But I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have Veil. Unfortunately. But yeah, right now we without Lily, it takes a little bit longer to build stacks on Kaliotro. Unfortunately. You could be fine regardless, but it just takes a little bit longer. Mainly when, you, when I don't multi-attack enough to get my to get my Ogi. We don't have any water attack up. What we're pretty much relying on right now is Argumea to give me RNG so that we can get water attack. Unfortunately. We'll see how it goes though. I, think, I thought we were going to be screwed by the um by her by her Ozzy, but I guess the owl didn't do anything. I don't fight this boss too much, so I tend to forget. We're gonna use Gabriel, I guess. So hopefully, get some water attack up this time. I would like it. We got multi attack up. Multi attack up isn't bad though, but. I kind of need water attack up. Arlumea is an RNG unit, so you don't always like get what you want. Unfortunately. Oh, we get hostility up. Though it doesn't really matter. We won't take much damage from this fight anyway. But yeah, one thing, another thing about Kaliostra, it's not really that great to run Bonito on her. Uh, I've tried it 
for a video, but I don't think it's that great, honestly. Unfortunate, like, unfortunately, I don't think Bony Coach is that great with her. Because you need a lot of things, right? You need a lot of... A, well, mainly your four, right? You'll be looking for crits in the fourth you, can, you, you can't have it. Like, the Randall, uh, Europa Sphere, are fully as bow. You also have the free-to-play option, the Auberons, but I don't really recommend those. It may be better to run them, though. It may be better to run them. But it's kind of rough for me to recommend it, though. Uh, did we get five? Oh, we do have five. Okay, cool. One turn, right? Okay, so next... The turn after this is going to be a big amount of damage. This would be a good showcase of damage there. No, multi-attack weird, Doko. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's like the most I've ever seen Kaliostra hit. 900k? I don't, I don't really hurt it that much. We'll see, though. We'll have all our buffs up and chaser and everything, so... This would be a good amount of damage. Like, it's going to be a ton. It's not going to be as much as a Shiva turn, obviously, but it should still be a good amount of damage. I mean, we got water tech up now. So, I think we already had it from the Bunkle, so it's not that important. I would say I see how much damage. Yeah. And let's keep in mind, we can do that again, because the buffs last, last long enough, right? Or not, because got blinded and debuffed. Oh my god! Oh. No, all these debuffs. So what I do, I had big luck. Oh, this is the worst. <laughs> Don't miss. Too much. Oh, I lowered my multi-attack rate too. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Whoopsies. I'm gonna have to Ogi then, whatever. I kinda miscalculated on that, right? Unfortunately, like, I didn't really expect to be hit with that debuff. It, like, as I mentioned, I don't really fight Athena that much, right? So, my memory of what he does is not the greatest. That, and I also don't fight Athena like this, where, like, I, I skip the main body. Well, the, the, uh, the, uh, the bird. Normally, I kill the bird, so. But to be honest, I think, I think we're pretty okay, though. I think. Uh, if I didn't miss every, miss every debuff, I mean, every attack, actually. Oh, right, it spells you. And removes the charge bar? Oh, that's a BM. <laughs> <laughs> Charge bar loss is the worst, man. Especially on water. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. What's this? Oh, we got our buff up. Yeah, but you can see, like, the lack of Lily. Oh, my game's lagging. I have the right. My game been lagging a lot ever since Guild Wars started, so it's like randomly my skills won't come up and stuff. We're gonna get an error oh, when I record a video, right? When I record a video. But yeah, you can see that w without Lily, Kaliostra doesn't gain stacks nearly as much. So right, like in this example right here, like, I don't have enough stacks because Kaliostra didn't gain it, so. It's just one of those things you gotta deal with when you run Kaliostra without Lily that you're gonna have a harder time getting the stacks you need because of the way that she works, right? Lily is a very good combo partner with her. So if you do have Lily, you do want to run her with Kaliostra as much as you can. So that's a run without Lily. I didn't run Alumea. Alumea is not a bad option, I don't think. But no one can replace. I think only character that actually can replace Lily is Mackie. But I don't have her, so if I end up getting her, I will do a video with her with with um Kaliostro, but don't have her. So her and Lily are just pretty much I think mandatory to a point if you really want to make the most use out of her skill one. 
but thank you guys for watching i know it's a long video i rambled a lot um hopefully you guys are okay with that but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time bye